Good morning. <laughs> this one's going to be quick. The goal isn't to lose weight, really, is it? The goal is to look better, feel better, act better, make better lifestyle choices with ease, stress-free, for life, forever, sustainable results. Not just, you know, lose 20 pounds, lose 30 pounds, lose 40 pounds. The goal is happiness, right? To be happy with yourself. So when I get inquiries from clients and just some people who admire my work and they ask me about certain diet, diets that to me seem rather extreme to lose the weight, but you'll be miserable. Cutting out entire food groups and overeating other food groups will have you miserable. It will be next to impossible to stick to that plan for longevity. Not to mention the havoc that it does to your immune system, your metabolism, your thyroid. These, these programs are not designed to help you. These programs are designed just to give you what you want right now, in this moment, in this very, very moment. I want to lose 10 pounds, so I'm not going to eat any carbs, and I'm going to eat all of this butter. Stop it. Find a program that teaches you balance, that teaches you how to make smart choices for the rest of your life. I'm getting kind of tired of this gimmicky bullshit. How people are trying to make a quick buck. Sacrificing the ultimate happiness for you to lose 10 pounds in a month. And you know what? If you're honest with yourself and you work hard and you're consistent with a healthy program, you will lose the weight. Don't go for the shortcut. Go for the long haul. Not every day is going to be your greatest. I brought it all today and I couldn't get through all of my planned rounds. Showed up. Have you ever gotten really, really pissed off about something, but it's not really the something that pissed you off. It's the principle of the thing. And then you end up walking around all day angry about something that's not even really a big deal. Get over like the injustice of it just sticks with you and then you walk around all day giving people dirty looks and shop right and yelling in traffic. Woosa. Get over it. It almost had me acting out of anger. Like a complete fit doing rash things that really weren't thought through out of spite and anger which is so unlike me. This is a full-blown body rebellion. I'm moody because I'm not giving my body what it wants in the forms of its addictions. And as much as I hate to use that word because it sounds so serious, it's exactly what it is. No sugar, no flour, no alcohol, no caffeine, no dairy. I'm going on a full month without any of those things. Haven't had a cup of coffee, not even green tea. I haven't had cake or cookies or milk or cheese or flour or bread or muffins or any of that stuff. Last week, last week, week three, I was experiencing really strong cravings. And I was saying to myself, like trying to make excuses as to why it was okay for me to have a cheat. And now this week, I'm just really pissed off. I'm letting things that I normally would have just like, whatever, whatever, I don't care. 
I'm letting them grind my gears. But that's the thing, I'm allowing it. It's as if I'm, I'm replacing one bad habit with another. But for real, fuck that. This is why it's incredibly important for you to have meditation as part of your daily routine. Because when these things happen, these attacks happen, you can recognize them and fix them. This is an emotional response to a physical reaction. The chemicals inside of my body are going a cuckoo for a Cocoa Puffs. But really, I really, I really want Cocoa Puffs. 